What is up, you guys? This is yours truly, Sherfit Johnson. Hey, you like my hair? It looks cool, right? Yes, ma'am. If you want to see more like natural hair type videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And also follow me on my natural hair Instagram at Sherfit Natural. And um, yeah, I'm so happy to see you. And I hope you are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my natural hair journey. I've had a journey, you guys, and I really haven't even realized it. I've never posted a natural hair journey video on my page, like, ever. I've literally only done, like, hairstyles and kept it moving. <laughs> kept it moving, really. And so, I'm really excited to share with you guys my natural hair journey. Not only to share with you, but so I can look back on it in a few years and be like, wow... Girl, you came a long way. So let me just get it all in order. So I went natural before being natural was even a thing, before it was even like popping and cool. Okay, so I went natural in 2011. It was my senior year, in, not my senior year, it was my freshman year in high school. And you guys, you guys, I don't even know why I decided to go natural. All I knew was that my whole life I had permed hair and people would always tell me how thick and nice my permed hair was. And so I decided like, okay, then let me go natural. And it wasn't even like I wanted to go natural. I think what happened was I, we weren't going to the beauty shop anymore for some reason. And I've always done my own hair since I've been like eight years old. And so since we weren't going to the beauty shop as often, I was starting to see like my natural hair come out. And I was kind of like, okay, this is different. This is different. And so I grew it out. Okay. Long story short, you guys, I have a picture um, that I'm going to show you guys. This was in December 29th, um, twenty. 12 I have it on my Instagram it's in my archive so I'm gonna have to post it here and this is my hair completely straight um, obviously the quality is not that great but I'm 100% natural in this picture okay and so don't think like oh my god this girl got natural and she just was um, thriving and flourishing y'all I've been natural bald-headed hair broken damaged chemical relaxered and rewind revamp re-dyed i've been doing so much now i'm like finally like okay i got this whole hair thing don't do too much and your hair will grow okay so that is that okay so i was natural for a long time you guys i love the way that my hair looks straight while um i was natural like i said i had gotten it pressed and I was like loving it, you guys. I was just like working my hair. And mind you, that was also the longest my hair had ever been. Um, so my hair was long compared to other people when people would compliment my permed hair. But now my hair was thick and it was like past my collarbone a little bit. So I was like, I'm that girl, right? And so here are a few pictures of my natural hair now i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was very hard to maintain and sometimes i wanted to freaking scream and rip my hair out there were not a lot of youtube videos of people saying like oh you do this and you do this and you do this nobody in my family was natural to this day <laughs> nobody in my family is natural so i couldn't lean on anybody else for guidance I didn't have an array of hair products. I didn't have any of that. Only, I think one time, my mother got my hair styled uh, in mini twist, and I rocked that. But then I also was in high school, so then I felt like a little kid. And like I said, like natural was not in. Like it was straight, straight cute hair, or like you had loose wavy curls because you were mixed. Like it was one or the other, and I wasn't mixed. And I didn't have straight hair because as soon as, you know how, how you have to go to high school in the morning, that humidity would hit my hair like it was nobody's business. And sometimes I would be in the bathroom 
at 5 a.m. trying to reflatten my hair, y'all. It was a hot mess because I was too embarrassed to wear like a satin wrap to school on the bus. Now looking back, I should have just did it because like they don't pay your bills, boo. So if you're a high school girl watching this and you be straightening your hair and then it be humid in the morning, wear your satin wrap to school and take your hair down in the bathroom. Big purr, okay? So, with that being said, I decided that I was going to get a texturizer. I was going to become text lags because it would have, I can still have curly hair, but I can also wear it straight when I want to wear it straight. And so, when I first did it, it was fantastic. Like, I freaking loved it. And I was like, this is cool. I still have, like, somewhat big hair. And like I said, I can straighten my hair and it will not get frizzy at all. Like, she's got the best of both worlds. Like, I was feeling like Hannah Montana up in that thing, best of both worlds, okay? But here's where the downfall came in. My natural hair was growing out, and so I had to redo it. And I didn't redo it right. And uh, now it was just damaged because you're just supposed to put the the new perm the new texturizer on your new growth and it was put through my whole head of hair and so now my hair was limp and stiff and looking like a mess right um however when i was like on day three four here it would get a little voluminous and so like i was like okay i can rock with this but it looked like some damaged curls. Damaged, damaged curls. Nobody else probably knew that because people didn't know about hair and hair typing and curl pattern and all that stuff um, back in 2012-13. So here are some pictures of that hair. That hot ass mess hair. And I would do wash and goes. I would do twist outs. And I would just try to vibe the best way that I knew how to be honest, and I would straighten my hair all the time. And then, you guys, I decided 2014, I was going to dye my hair my own self, and uh, big mistake. Let me tell you why, honey. Everybody knows like perm and dye really don't go together, especially when you don't have the products to um, keep your hair healthy like at that point it's not really healthy like let's be real your hair has been broken down and stripped but I was a little girl and I didn't know what I was doing and so I'm glad I still had hair like I wasn't no bald headed girl but my hair was so damaged the color of my hair was so ugly <laughs> and um I'm surprised nobody told me nothing like it looked ugly it looked ugly. I needed some toner and some corrector. Yes, ma'am. And um, I kind of just tried to, you know, rock that. Do a couple cute styles here and there. You know. And then, you guys, I went to college in 2015. And I started wearing weave. I started wearing weave because I'm like, these curls is the curls I want. And I don't really have to do my hair as much. And I'm busy. I had, I think, four jobs, sometimes five jobs in college, and um, it was too hard to keep up with doing my hair because I liked looking cute. Like, I liked looking cute, and so I was like, let me put some weave in my head. And so I learned how to braid my hair up and give myself a natural looking sew-in, and I would get my hair from AliExpress, and I would, and I would love it. So here are some pictures of my hair. Um, still dyed and um, damaged. <laughs> so I have this picture where you can see like my real texture growing out and it don't match my weave at all but people never said anything so I'm gonna just take it that it blend. And again I was just trying new hairstyles you guys. Um, my hair was growing. It had been the longest it had ever been. Um, I was doing braids, froze, faux locks, and I was doing all this on my own. And so because I was doing all that protective styling, didn't even know that's what it was. Um, my hair in 2017, I straightened it in the cold months 
and it looked really good. It was like right here, a lot of body, a lot of body, yada yada. And also, in I want to say three months before that, I had actually had a baby. A lot of my hair was shedding like crazy, and I had no idea I was gonna have a baby at 19. But nobody want to go through, you know, like postpartum shedding at all. So I was so happy when I uh, straightened my hair and I just looked so fire, you guys. Like, so fire. And I started wearing my real hair again. It was big. I did twist outs. Um, I'm blowing out hair. And I just pretty much loved it. I had length. And, like, I was like. I was that girl. I was that girl. Okay. Then I decided to do a big chop. And I guess, I guess you can call it a mini chop because I still had hair. And this is the video. I don't know if I'll be able to add it. So I just want to show y'all. Hopefully you can see it. My chopped off dead ends, and then on the other side, you can see like the crazy difference. Healthy and way unhealthy. I had no idea that that was even like it was gonna look that much different, but it did. And so that was June of 2017. And so I was rocking my hair, you guys. I absolutely loved it. Like, I. My confidence was like through the roof. And then I messed up. I messed up again, you guys. And then I decided to dye my hair. The hair color was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, in two th October 2017, I decided to dye my hair a ginger auburn color. And I actually did a video on my page that got so many views, thousands of views. And people loved it as well. And I wish I could have kept this hair color. Because my hair looked good. I, it still felt healthy when I washed it. It did feel a little dry, obviously. But then, my roots were growing out. And I am such a perfectionist, you guys. Like, I wanted it to look like I, I was naturally a redhead. Because it was just banging. And so, I went to the beauty supply store. And I wanted to um, get the products that I had and dye my roots. They didn't have the products that I had, so my dumb ass went and got a different shade. Now, why would I do that? That's just dumb. Well, then, I didn't know that was dumb. But now, I'm like, girl, that's just dumb. And so, my hair came out a whole nother color. It looked a hot ass mess. And so, of course, what did I want to do? I wanted to dye it again. And so, I dyed it black. And so, that was me bleaching my hair, dyeing my hair, and dyeing my hair again. Three times in one day. Like, what the fuck? And so, then my hair was so damaged and so brittle that I just started wearing protective styles because I couldn't even look at my hair at all. Uh, so, I got into doing, like, box braids and um, cornrows and just a lot of different type of hairstyles um, that you can see here and um, after a while my hair started growing again and then this picture is from October 1st 2018 as you can see my hair is pretty much waist length <laughs> and I couldn't believe it myself so that's why I decided to take a picture um, my hair was in a twist out super healthy but I still think it was damaged. But because um, I was natural, my hair was hanging on by a thread. Literally, literally. And I had seen my hair at its healthiest state and thickest state that I knew it was damaged. Um, so I did decide to give myself a trim, but just a slight trim. Um, and then I just kept wearing my hair, wearing my hair. A lot of it was still dyed. And so I started picking up on wigs, clipping extensions, and here I am today in 2021. February of 2021, I straightened my hair and I gave myself a amazing cut. I got rid of all of the bad, bad, horrible, 
ends, all the dyed hair that I had, and I still had a lot of length. Length. If you want to see that video, I am going to leave it down in the district script, ugh, the description box. I did a link check on myself. And so next year in 2022, I will straighten my hair again and um, I will see how long it is because I'm really excited because now I know better. No more dying, no more relaxing, no more texturizing, no more double dyeing, no more bleaching. If I want hair color, I'll get paint wax, I'll get spray, I'll get a wig. And um, just enjoy my hair. And I still wear wigs, I still wear weaves, and I've been wearing wigs a lot, you guys, because I'm just trying to um, protect the stuff my hair and grow it out to the max, max possible. But anyways, I've been talking for way too long. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment what stage of your natural hair journey you're on. Literally, you guys have been natural for about 10 years and I'm in year 10 and I'm just now realizing and understanding how to grow your hair. <laughs> so I'm going to be making sure I give more tips on how to grow your hair. And um, yeah, until next time. Peace.